If you are the administrator of a multi-seat node lock package, you will need to establish the product key deployment mechanism on the Origin Lab website before providing the package to your group members. Origin Lab also provides tools for administrator to deactivate a product key or reset multiple keys. This tutorial will show these tips for group package administrator. After purchasing, you will receive an email containing your Origin serial number and a registration link. Click the link to open your web browser to the Origin Lab website asking you to log in. If you don't have an account, click on the Create Account link. You will see your serial number and registration code displayed on the web page. You would also see three options to deploy the product keys on the web page. This is the mechanism to control which Origin Lab web membership accounts can obtain a license for Origin installed with your serial number. Select one of the options and give careful consideration to your selection as you will not be able to switch options once you begin the licensing process. I will obtain all licensed product keys myself. If you select this option, you will be responsible for licensing each Origin installation, either directly by going to each workstation, running Origin and entering the product key, or indirectly by distributing product keys to your users. I will approve user requests for licensed product keys. If you select this option, you will be given a URL by which your users can request a product key. Each user will obtain a licensed product key. If you select this option, you will be given a URL to distribute to your users. When the user clicks the URL, it will generate a product key that is emailed to the user. He can then install and run Origin on his workstation and enter the product key to activate. Enter email fragments as needed. Only web account containing the email fragment can access to license. If you choose the first option I will obtain all license product keys myself, you don't need to set up the email fragment. If you choose the second option I will approve user requests for licensed product keys, or the third option each user will obtain a licensed product key, enter an email address fragment that ensures all eligible persons' emails have this fragment. For example, if you want to restrict license access to any members of your organization, enter an email address fragment that is unique to your organization. In this video, we choose the second option and enter company email fragment. Click the register button to register this serial number. An email template containing the URL to request a product key will be sent to you. You can then send this email to your users. Users can click on the URL to make their request for a product key. They will be asked for login to Origin Lab website. The login account must have the correct email address containing the fragment you set up. You will receive an email notifying that there is a new request. Clicking the URL will go to Handle Product Keys Request page. Select users from the table to assign product keys. This will generate an email to the user's account containing a product key. The user can then install and run Origin and use the product key to complete license activation. Now I will show you how to deactivate a license from administrator's side. Log into Origin Lab website. Open the Origin Product Registration License Request History page of the serial number that you are deactivating a license for. Click on the You can see and manage all product keys here. 
Then click on Go in the line that you are deactivating the license for. The license information displays on the web page. Click the Continue button. Once you see a success message, your product key is available to be installed on a new computer. Now I will show you how to deactivate a set of product keys from administrator side. On Origin Product Registration, License Request History page, check the product keys that are not used anymore. Click the Request Origin Lab to reset the selected product keys button. You can put some description for memo in the comments edit box. If your request has been processed, you can then generate the new keys on Origin Lab website. Please note that the two deactivate methods mentioned here requires an active maintenance. If you don't have an active maintenance, or you have an earlier version of Origin, you will need to request a system transfer using the form on our website under the support menu.